Welcome back to The Express at Tracy Cakes Bakery in Fort Langley. Now, one of the things Tracy Cakes is known for, besides the cupcakes, is their high tea. And we're going to take a taste of their Christmas high tea a little later on the show. Now, right now, we're hopping a ferry for today's road trip to get a little Christmas cheer at the BC Forest Discovery Center. Quality Assured Collision Road Trip is brought to you by Quality Assured Collision Services and our network of 18 auto body shops across BC. Today's road trip takes us about 45 minutes south of Nanaimo to the BC Forest Discovery Centre in Duncan. It's one of the most popular spots for family fun on Vancouver Island during the holiday season. More than a thousand people a day on average check out the Forest Discovery Centre and it's easy to see why. The BC Forest Discovery Centre is dedicated to preserving the history of forestry in coastal British Columbia. It's been here for decades and offers educational programs and hosts a variety of special events. There are 100 acres here, 12 historical locomotives and nearly three kilometres of operational narrow gauge track, including a trestle over Sominos Lake. The Christmas Express started only five years ago as a way to increase numbers during the winter months. Christmas time, our first one, we had 5,500 people. Last year we had over 11,000 people come through at Christmas. Lots and lots of people, not just from southern Vancouver Island, but from all over Vancouver Island, Courtney, Comox. Uh, we've had people come over from the mainland, so it is growing. It is getting bigger and bigger. This is the first time we've been here, actually but uh, our son really loves trains and he really loves Christmas. When we heard about this, we thought that was just perfect. But we'll, we think we'll come, bring him back every year for sure. We're lucky grandparents. We got to come with this little guy and enjoy the train too. We're from Alberta. We've come since Nicholas was, uh, was tiny. Um, it's, part of, it's part of the start of Christmas, I think, for us. <laughs> well, it's the lights, it's Santa Claus, it's the music, it's, it's fantastic. Thank you very much. There are families and there are kids and there are Christmas lights and Christmas crafts and mm, warm, foamy, hot chocolate. There's even campfires. So when it comes to the festive season, there's one thing that's majorly missing, the big guy himself. I want a, a robot toy. Toy. I want a really hard game and they were going parents. In true big kid fashion, it's my turn now, I think, to ask Santa. Hi, for something Kate. For Christmas. What would you like for Christmas? I would like, it's big, world peace. Fantastic. It starts with a hug. It absolutely does. And there are lots of hugs here because it's Christmas. The Christmas Express at the BC Forest Discovery Center runs every 20 minutes beginning at 4.30. Visit the website at www.bcforestmuseum.com for dates and other details. For Quality Assured Collision Road Trip in Duncan, I'm Kate Bergen. Quality Assured Collision Road Trip has been brought to you by Quality Assured Collision Services and our network of 18 auto body shops across BC. World peace, hugs, maybe candy canes. I love it. Definitely puts me in the Christmas spirit. And in keeping with that theme, we've got some great tips in this next segment if you're looking for a little extra oomph to rock your look at your Christmas party, or as in the case of the wedding bells, on your wedding day. Hi, I'm Aubrey. And I'm Sarah. And we are the Wedding Bells. I just got engaged. And I did not. We're on an adventure. Plan the big day. Over the centuries, women have used berries to stain their lips, ox blood to improve their complexions, and even burnt matches to darken their eyes. Dark eyes at a wedding makes you look like the Bride of Frankenstein. So I took Sarah to BFF, Best Face Forward. BFF is a team of freelance makeup artists working at a base location or mobile. 
It is important to have a professional makeup artist. You're spending the money on the florist, the location, the photographer. The more stresses you can take away from that, that day, the more you can focus on oh. saying your vows. Traditionally, bridal colors are browns, pinks, purples. Pink on my eyes always makes me look like one of those rabbits. You know those rabbits that are white with like the... Oh, totally, babe. Sarah certainly didn't look like a rabbit. And voila. Oh, I look so pretty. Sarah looked fantastic. And on the big day, Sarah M says, So just let the tears come, let them flow. Crying actually doesn't smudge our makeup. It's how we wipe away the tears. Smudges our... Blocked. Yeah. Aubrey loves the nightlife, so chances are she's going to sleep in on my wedding day. I'm late for showing you for getting your makeup done because I was out with all the groomsmen last night. Good thing that BFF yeah. has a perfect solution. Five minute face. Here we go. Five minutes was up. This looks better than the 20 minute face <laughs> I do on my own. Okay, time to shop. Because it's a destination wedding, we need supplies. What are the key things that you need to take with you? Foundation, hands down, and never leave the house without it. Oh, I don't leave the house without mascara. It's terrifying, too. <laughs> I leave the house without mascara. Uh-oh. <laughs> Learning. Blush, of course. If you're going somewhere nice and sunny, though, then it might be a better idea to bring a bronzer with you, just so you have a better glow going on. For fun, I propose a contest. Find everything we need in two minutes and spend only $100. Lipstick. I bet you Aubrey's gonna cheat and all go to one counter, but I think it's best to blend a whole bunch of different brands together. I am going to one location, the prettiest one. Mascara, mascara, mascara. Primer, tinted moisturizer, moisturizer. I am clearly running out of money and out of time. Done. Okay, let's go tell you. That a boom, <laughs> 254.24. Makeup is expensive, that's why I don't wear very much. I'm $55.67 over budget. So the only thing that she really missed was her primer, but I am glad that she picked up a waterproof mascara for her wedding because obviously there's going to be a few tears going on. Are you going to cry? Oh yeah. Really? Oh, I'll cry. I cry at all weddings. That's so nice. No, and yours, of course. Because it will be finally over. <laughs> Just kidding, Sarah. I can't wait to see your fabulous face on the big day. For Shaw TV, wear the wedding bells. Next week, the Bells explore a country-themed wedding, complete with a two-step dance lesson. And I swear, I just saw that on One Tree Hill, didn't you? Anyway, we've got some sweet and spacey fun still to come on today's Express, so stay with us. Up next on the Express. Twist Cakes came from one day me sitting on the couch realizing that I didn't want to live vicariously through my children for the rest of my days. The story of Tracy Cakes. The grain of sand, this is the detail that the Hubble Space Telescope is able to pick up. The Hubble Space Telescope. The Express. This is your local voice. Dear Children's Wish Foundation of Canada, Thank you for sending me Rory the Lion. That means I'm going to get my wish and that makes me really, really happy. Yesterday he was sad, but I told him, it's okay, Rory, but only two more needles until my wish. I will send you pictures from the top of the Rocky Mountains. Love, Emily. Imagine the difference a wish can make. Click on childrenswish.ca and give today. Welcome back to The Express at Tracy Cakes Bakery in Fort Langley, where we've got a great story about a woman following her dream, one cupcake at a time. What do you think it is about this cupcake phenomenon? Like, people are so into them. Mm. I just, I always say that they're like a little treat that's made just for you. We opened September 1st, 2006. Um, our first location um, was just on Glover Road, and then um, our location here came to be this year, June. I love being back in Fort Langley. It's so very, um, it's so very endearing. It's such a warm community. Tracy, it's so civilized. It is. It's yeah. a wonderful experience, high tea. Oh my gosh, the cucumber and cream cheese. This is just like exactly what I think of for a high tea. And mm -hmm. I love that the crusts are cut off. 
That's you have sweet. to cut them up. You have to cut them up. Okay. And on the bottom, all about Christmas baking. Mm hmm We have on the bottom of our, we will have on the bottom every high tea will may be different at our Christmas gathering. We would have some um, Christmas baking, some Christmas cookies, little pies, little mince pies, little cherry pies, our variety of our Christmas cupcakes, as well as our fresh baked um, cranberry scones. And any idea a calorie count on this whole thing or do you just not bother it? No calories at Tracy Cakes? No, I try and take those out when I bake <laughs> them. Tracy Cakes came from one day me sitting on the couch realizing that I didn't want to live vicariously through my children for the rest of my days because I was a stay-at-home mom and um, just thought, what do I really enjoy doing? Well, I love baking. And yes, I get the opportunity to work with my two daughters. Tracy Cakes is holding a few special events in honor of Christmas. It's the Jazzed Up Christmas High Tea, December 11th in Abbotsford and December 18th in White Rock and here in Fort Langley. But if you're not ready to look that far ahead, let's just see about how far we can look on today's space segment featuring the Hubble Space Telescope. Well, hello there. This is the Hubble Gallery. That's where Reminder and I are standing here at the HR McMillan Space Center. And above our heads is a one-fifth scale model of the Hubble Space Telescope. This is a, a, a wonderful telescope that has been giving us some fantastic images from space. It's kind of like a big camera. In fact, remember you were just in Hawaii looking at one of the telescopes out there and yeah. you took some images of the uh, of the cameras. So I was at the Canada France Hawaii telescope and I've taken some images of the, some of the, the biggest cameras that they have. It's called Mega Prime. It's 300 megapixel. Camera. 300 megapixels. My camera at home, I think, is a six megapixel camera. So, wow. The biggest cameras in the world, uh, astronomers use are over two gigapixels. Two gigapixels? Yes. Well, the other thing would sound real. We're actually looking at, at this uh, a Hubble image, and what's really neat about this is Reminder had me the other day I pick up a grain of sand, I went outside, and I held it up. Uh, against the night sky and, and he was saying that that is what this image of the, the area that at arm's length a grain of sand this is the detail that the Hubble Space Telescope is able to pick up and it's just that small minute part of the night sky so so we're looking at a few thousand gal galaxies here so this is called the Hubble deep field to get this image what Hubble did was it took pictures in different filters so sometimes it puts a red filter an infrared filter green filter or blue filter, and the individual images are all black and white. But uh, when they're finished taking the pictures, astronomers actually color them and stack them on top of each other. We're here at another image uh, from the Hubble Space Telescope. Uh, my camera, your camera, takes pictures in the, the visible spectrum, the things that we can see. Um, is there a way that Hubble takes pictures a different way? So Hubble can see all the visible, but also a bit of the uh, ultraviolet and a bit of the infrared as well. You see the hottest stars in ultraviolet, uh, they, you don't see them in the infrared. In the infrared, you see some, see some of the cold stars. Oh, okay. So by combining the different ways that Hubble looks at things, we can get a much uh, richer picture because we are seeing things that are only visible in, in, in one or two of those different spectrums. Exactly. Uh, but by putting them all together, that's how we get these brilliant pictures. Now, if you have an image uh, or a question about an image, you can always tweet uh, Reminder or myself here at the Space Center at Ask an Astronomer, uh, and we'd be happy to, to be able to answer some of those questions because there are a lot of images on the internet. Some of them are in false color, some of them have color added, some of them are taken with different types of cameras, and it can be confusing when you're looking at things to try and figure out if that really what it is out in space, um, or is it the way that that takes that particular photo? And, and thank you for explaining some of the details about how the Hubble Space Telescope gives us some of these brilliant pictures. They're some of my favorite pictures, and uh, again, they're just a, a couple clicks away if you uh, can log on to the Hubble site. Uh, for The Express here at the HR McMillan Space Center, I'm Cam Cronin. I'm Reminder Samra. And um, yeah, enjoy the Hubble Space Telescope. There's some beautiful images, and uh, it's worth it to check it out. If you go to the H.R. McMillan Space Center's website, they've got some great Christmas gift ideas, including information on the Star Dedication Program. And for more ideas and events, we've got today's Express Spotlight. Pick up fresh produce for your holiday cooking at the Winter Farmer's Market at Knapp Bailey Stadium. The Vancouver Farmer's Market is all about people who love fresh food. Find everything you need under one roof at the one-of-a-kind show and sale. 250 of North America's most talented artists and designers will showcase unique gift ideas for everyone on your list. Take a walk through Gingerbread Lane and check out the Hyatt's giant gingerbread house along with over 40 other handcrafted gingerbread houses. This event is a fundraiser for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And that's it for today's Express. 
Tracy Cakes Bakery in Fort Langley. I'm Johanna Warden on behalf of all of us on the Express. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you join us next time. And in the meantime, here's a look at the local art scene. Four hugs a day. That's the minimum. Four hugs a day.